So let me quickly show you how I sharpen my working knife.、Um, first, let me demonstrate how it cuts after a week of hard work. See how deep it cuts into the towels, rolled up towels. And then、um, I start with Naniwa Chosera 800. By the way, the reason I am doing the、uh, voiceover is because, as you can see, I'm doing this in the back of the restaurant. And、uh, there are so many refrigerators and freezers, and the compressor noise is so annoying. So, okay, anyway, I should have moved that mop and the bucket. But anyway,、uh, forget about. What you have learned, see how I am holding the knife. And also forget about using the entire stone with one long stroke. No. Just grab the middle of the blade when you do the tips. And then check frequently. As Mari Kata said, observe often. So the edge isn't quite touching on the stone, so I am tilting just a little bit, tilting the blade, I mean. And then after 10 pass, check. Another 10 pass and check again. I am using GoPro on.、Um, Chesty, so it's kind of hard to see which part, is, which part of the edge is touching on the stone and which part is not touching. Oh, by the way, I am showing your left hand fingers how to press the blade down.、Um, so the lighting isn't ideal, the camera angle is not. Ideal, but if I try to make a perfect video, the video will never come out. So I sacrifice video quality and just you know, try to explain it. And this video、uh, is uncut and edited. So what you see is、uh, what's going on. When I do the sharpening without that much free time in the real life. As you can see, I don't use the entire stone with long stroke. No,、nope. I work on section by section, little by little, and using corner of the stone quite often. The reason I work that way is because. The kiriha,、uh, in Japanese, this primary bevel is called kiriha. It's not flat and straight. No. The angle actually continuously change, changes from the heel to, to the tips, toward the tip. So basically, around heel, the edge angle is bigger as you move toward the tip. The angle gets shallower, more acute. So, you know, if you try to put the entire primary bevel flat on the stone, you will never get the edge all across the blade. You only get probably 40 to 50% of the、uh, edge length. So, It's roughly four minutes and a half now, and as you can see, edge line is, edge line is already finished. I am actually working near the Shinogi ridge line now, so it's not as time consuming as some people believe. Freehand sharpening is pretty quick if done properly. See how I am holding the knife? 
I am not holding by handle. Yes, this way it's easier to control while working around the tip. And yeah, I'm pretty much done with 800. And now moving on to 3000. By the way, I am using Naniwa Chosera 800 and 3000. But you don't have to have exactly the same setup. Basically any kind of 1000 um, between 800 and 1200 and anything over 2000 up to 6, 8000 will work. So do you notice how often I check the blade? Which part is touching on the stone? I don't keep grinding, I don't keep stroking on the stone for, you know, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, ten, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. I will never do. Usually it's like 5 to 10 pass and then check. 5 to 10 pass and then check. That way you have a lot less chance to make mistakes. Another thing I want you to notice is my right wrist. It's not locked. Some people, actually a lot of people on YouTube, online, tells you your right hand, your right wrist should be locked so you can maintain the same angle, which is wrong. Your right wrist should be able to move freely. Because, as I said earlier, the primary bevel angle is not the same all across the blade length. You can't sharpen properly if you lock your right wrist. So far, it's been 7 minutes and 30 seconds, something like that. And I, o I am almost done with 3000. Checking the edge on Sharpie. At this point, the edge shouldn't slip on Sharpie. You can do it on plastic straw, you can do it on your fingernail, but I personally don't recommend doing it on the fingernail. It will leave nasty mark on your fingernail and, uh, you know, it becomes difficult to clean. Sharpie is the most often used tool for checking the edge. In my case anyway. If you have a piece of 2x4 or a wood cutting board, this is also a great way to check. You can tell the edge is actually cutting into the wood and also it will remove the bar. Yeah, and I'm pretty much done with 3000. And this stone is Shapton 6000. And Shapton is not my favorite, but well, since I already have it, I am using it. Um, 6000 Shapton, I only use it for backside, you know, blouse side sharpening. And the good thing is it's a true splash and go. I don't waste any time and it stays flat pretty good. So, like I said, Shapton isn't my favorite. For 6,000, 8,000 finishing stone, I still prefer Kitayama. And if someone asks me, um, I would actually recommend Kitayama over Shapton 6,000. Uh, by the way, uh, Kitayama and Arashiyama 
they are made by the company called Imanish, which is the company actually makes Naniwa brand stones. Yes, Naniwa is just a brand name, not the company's name. Okay, so stone sharpening is done. Wiping the blade and then after uh, using 2x4 to remove the bar, check the edge again on Sharpie. And then uh, I will strop on the newspaper. And then do road up tau cut test. Yep, the Sharpie is probably the most useful tool for checking the edge. You don't need to cut the paper. And as you can see, at this stage, the edge is not, okay, so newspaper stropping is kind of important. I picked up this from Marie Kata. Pretty much everything I am doing, I picked up from Marie in about 2005-2006. So I guess I was in a way very lucky to see him sharpening the knife right front of my eyes and I could ask questions or oh, anyway see how deep it cuts into the towels but it doesn't completely cut through because yep uh, see what I am going to do now this is 3000 stone one two that's it and then remove the bar from the back side. I'm just removing the bar. So this is very light stroke. Can you tell what I am doing now? By the way, at this point, it's still less than 15 minutes. 12 minutes, 45, 46 seconds, something like that. And watch how it cuts. The first one, and the second one, and the third one. Yep, now it completely cuts the towel into two pieces. 